Telkom Cert is taking a leading role in bringing artificial intelligence into Indonesia's economy. The company has been using their hyper AI technology to streamline operations and improve customer service. This includes applying AI to network planning, conducting feasibility studies, as well as using predictive analytics to identify and solve issues more quickly and effectively. On the customer side, Telkomsel has turned to large language models or LLMs to help handle inquiries and improve response time which aims to make the overall experience smoother and more reliable. The company says that these efforts have paid off as it reported a six-fold reduction in system repair times and a 97% drop in manual tasks across its operations. We are now in the stage of the three to be a four, and it means that almost fully automations. So that's why uh, we're presenting on this uh, event about the hyper AI that's including the network management process, how we uh, elevate the process from the manual to be AI based process, starting from the planning, operations, and the customer expense improvement. And the result is, is very, very good. We significantly decrease the customer complaint and also the time to resolve the problem is faster. It's until six times faster. So that's the good achievement for us. And we don't want to stop in these steps. We will continue to the next step. We call it the autonomous network level four, which is we want to in implement the decision intelligence. Meanwhile, Telkom cell parent company Telkom is also working to integrate AIs into its services. One example is through the Accelerate platform, which uses telecommunication data to make digital marketing more targeted and effective. Innovation requires development and infrastructure is becoming more important than ever as reliance on AI continues to grow. Data center providers such as Neutra DC are scaling up to meet demands of these technologies by focusing on boosting processing power and improving energy efficiency, with the company expecting four data centers to become vital pieces of infrastructure for the country in the future. We are coming to a day and age where AI becomes very important. AI, uh, we, are, we, are not, we are not replacing human but we are enhancing humans understanding enhancing humans knowledge uh, many of us now using chat gpt to write emails chat gpt is to all these all data all these are supported by data center so data center is becoming the backbone and the backbone needs to be strengthened need to be secured secured and you need to expand all of these industry efforts tie to a larger push by the indonesian government to build a thriving ai ecosystem with the Communication and Digital Affairs Ministry also promoting AI in critical sectors such as agriculture, logistics, and manufacturing. Dari Kemkom DG ingin sekali agar lebih banyak diskusi-diskusi mengenai artificial intelligence ini dilakukan karena pertama pemahaman tentang AI itu penting supaya masyarakat kemudian bisa menerima dan kemudian memanfaatkan uh, teknologi kecerdasan artificial ini untuk berbagai sektor. Ya. Sudah ada yang membuat di perikanan, ada juga yang membuat di uh, apa, bidang pangan lainnya, uh, berbagai aplikasi di kesehatan. Jadi kita melihat ini sesuatu yang bisa uh, menjadi salah satu kekuatan Indonesia ke depan. Indonesia's AI model may still be in the early stages, but with strong government support, innovative companies, and growing infrastructure, the nation is rapidly positioning itself as a leader in AI across Southeast Asia. Satya Pramesi, Reza Nindita for City Today.